So, I know I've been trying to quit this game for a long time, and I've, technically I've quit like six months ago. I'm not, I haven't done dailies. I got my character to 1580, and all I do is really raid once a week with a static, right? Like, I, I haven't played Lost Ark properly in a while. And there's many reasons for that. You guys probably have seen the other videos already. Everything that I complained about, everything that I think is a problem, everything I, you know, I think is like what what the what the real issues are, right? And maybe you've also noticed recently I put a couple of statistics on Twitter, which you can see right here. Actually, let's do into the, go into this section. You can see right here the Korean PC bang ratings for Lost Ark in Korea. Uh, we already know that Lost Hack is the numbers are dwindling uh, rapidly and every month is less and less and less and we don't even know how many of those are still bots or not like but in Korea there's a more of an obvious uh, you know uh, showcase of how many people are playing because the Korean PC bang which is basically PC cafes have uh, rankings of what people are playing and usually these are pretty accurate obviously you know if you had all players it would change slightly but this is the best numbers that are available and as you can see the biggest competitor of lost ark which is maple story had a massive update where every class basically got a new fucking huge massive awakening ability and reworking other things quality of life stuff new bosses all that kind of shit right and as you can see because of that the update isn't even fully out yet the full update will actually hit next month but the pre-update already has Korea playing it a lot. And as you can see, Lost Ark is about to be eliminated from the top 10 games in Korea. So what happened and what's going on? Basically what's going on is um, the game is suffering from a massive amount of, well, homework fatigue is what they're calling it basically because the content is very repetitive, a lot of dailies, a lot of bullshit, right? On top of that, there is, uh, well, not a whole lot of new stuff coming out. The PvP is dead, the open world is dead, the professions are dead. Every, basically, everything you can think about besides raiding is dead, okay? There's, not, there's nothing else that anyone else is doing. Maybe you do some scheduled event every now and then, but the world is empty. The, no one wants to do fucking Chaos Dungeons and Guardians and Una tasks anymore. And everyone is basically just playing to get to the next raid tier so they can have some fun with their static. And obviously that's not a very good situation to be in for, a, for an MORPG, especially not in the West, but as you can see, it's already a, also a problem in Korea. So now there was a low on. Low on basically means BlizzCon for Lost Ark, where they announce all the updates for the next six months, basically. Uh, and this is what happened, right? This is everything that was announced. New class, Soul Leader. New raid, Thane Mine. Free shit for new players, which we'll get into in a second. And new story content, which most people will just press Shift G for. That's basically the entirety of what they, what they even mentioned in the first announcement of the roadmap. So now let's talk about this and like this one little like minesweeper upgrade system. I don't even. Anyways, we knew about Soul Leader, we knew about Thane Mine. Uh, the new F Mokoko stuff, let's get into that for one quick second because people keep praising this for some reason. Um, this is a band-aid fix. They're not addressing any fundamental progression systems. They're only giving you free shit and making it easier early on to hone. Now let's think about this. A new player goes into the game, hones to level to 1540 for Kai Angle and tries to enter his raids without even understanding any systems of the game. They don't understand how gems work really, they don't really understand how cards work really, they don't even understand how the combat really works, or how tripods work, or like, the, basically if you're a new player now you will get showered with a billion free things, and then put into the fucking endgame. And obviously you won't have roster level, so the gatekeeping will be fucking crazy. They, they, imagine being a new player in a situation like that, where the progression doesn't happen gradually anymore, but instead you're just gonna sit there and get showered with shit. Which, to be fair, is better than what we have right now. Improvement. But does this address anything in the long term? Absolutely not. Another band-aid fix. Same thing what happened with the cube. Oh, we combined boss rush and cube, and now it's just this thing that takes two minutes and you're done. Instead of reworking the system and making it good, they just make it shorter. 
Same thing, which they just talked about at the very end about Chaos Dungeons. What a bunch! What a bunch of bullshit! Like, oh yeah, the daily. We've been talking. We've been thinking about uh, updating the daily fatigue, but uh, the only thing we've been really come up with so far is maybe making Chaos Dungeons a little bit faster because the mobs spawn faster and uh, they come to you better or whatever the fuck. Basically, what's happening? Maple Story and Lost Ark are one-to-one -one competitors in Korea, and I was expecting. You know, the Lost Ark to try to put up a fight with the massive update that MapleStory has gotten and uh, addressing a lot of the community concerns. And none of that has happened. It's literally nothing. It, but what's also funny is the Third Awakening part, which is a, well, a thing that they talked about for a long time, actually. Let me, you know what, I'll show you what I actually put into my bingo card, because that's interesting, okay? So this was my bingo before, and uh, what I was expecting to happen or what I was hoping to happen. Um, and this is what we got. So the all the, what we got is a weird collab three times, three weird collabs. We obviously got the new class, um, you know, that was to be expected. We got the new Legion raid, also was to be expected. We got bikini skins, also was to be, and Mokoko skins. Oh my god, wow! Uh, then they mentioned EUNA for like one millisecond, and then they said. Oh, uh, these rewards are only for Korea, and everything else was basically not addressed. And even in the Q and A after. Even if it was addressed, it was basically not at all. So what's happening here? None of the fundamental issues were were addressed. There's no tier five, tier four, which I think is mandatory for the game to for the long term to be good. Man, absolutely mandatory. Not happening. Sailing rework. They mentioned that for like one millisecond that there's like one less stage of one sailing co-op quest or whatever. Not gonna do anything. Alt rework. Not even mentioned. Gear set reworks, I think there's one new gear set, but that's about it. Daily rework, not basically not mentioned. Max roster level, not mentioned. Third awakening, well, it's a, it's a big update, so we gotta delay it. Uh, we've been talking about it for like three years, but we're still not ready. Oopsie. An engine update, obviously not. Lost Ark Mobile, no, which I don't want, by the way. PvP update, absolutely not. I think they even said they will remove PvP from Rowan to an extent. So there's probably less than before, although Rowan PvP was never good, don't get me wrong, but no. Card rework, uh, you can now get Balthor and I think Armin from Trade Merchants, which by the way, Trade Merchants is about the worst combat, not combat, the worst content in the game that you can do, because it's lit you literally need a third party website that tracks what people are doing, and so people can type in like w oh, which card is where and which where is this guy. It's really bad and really unfun. We didn't even see Gold River. I didn't at least. Esther Armor luckily didn't happen. MOBA wasn't mentioned. Fian Rework didn't exist. Profession Rework didn't, it didn't exist either. So basically, as I said, all that happened was this here. And that's just, that's just like, I, especially considering the context of their situation. The community's fed up with the fucking dailies and the bullshit. There's no new proper content that you do outside of raids and maple story is popping off with a massive new update and still this is what they come up with how can anyone still be motivated to play the game if this is what they come up with the most pathetic predictable content roadmap that you could possibly imagine and they didn't even talk about gender unlock classes either you know how last time they teased the gender unlock scrapper? But no one liked this, that, 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 that fighters getting another gender unlock, obviously, because they already have striker. So what did they do instead? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah, that's great. So basically, they haven't addressed a single problem the game has. And they don't even add anything specifically good or like new that people would get excited about. Sure, a new raid is cool. Sure, a new class is cool. But that's negligible in comparison to what people are, you know, concerned about. So <sighs> I I'd really hope that this low odd would convince me to like or motivate me to keep playing and to actually take it seriously again because there's not really anything else, right? There's no, there's ba barely any games releasing. There is, 
very little new stuff like you can go back i played some maple story recently it's okay like it's you know then you can play go back and like my i had the most fun with recently is classic wow hardcore which is a 20 year old game like the problem here is there is no competition in the western world at least and um it's not it's not as easy for a content creator obviously to just say quit i'm gonna quit i'm gonna quit my only income <laughs> you know they, they obviously for me it's a little bit different situation than most people but like it's it's a terrible situation because the other games are all like you know the game that i looked forward to the most is throne and liberty or was throne and liberty and you know what happened to that right and then you have uh, blue protocol that is got delayed to next year which by the way blue protocol if you for the people who are still interested it's probably a five out of ten it's a very very mid game it's not terrible it's not good either though it's dead center i think so it's also not really something i'm super excited about and what else is there really like it's so obvious what these people need to do to fix these games and make them better it's so obvious there's so a million different ways to approach this like get it, making more horizontal content that is fun that you log into that you just want to do not because it's a fucking daily or scheduled or whatever the fuck and just make it so there's fun content things you can do on your main more things you can do on your main i don't want to play all these fucking alts why if you only play your main character you're going to play two hours a week none of that was addressed nothing like not none of these issues were even like talked about really so I know it's uh, hyperbolic coming from me or sounding hyperbolic coming from me when I've talked about these problems for so long already but uh, I don't see I don't see a future of this and I I don't know what uh, what what I would what I'm even going to do like I maybe we'll make an ashes of creation video or something maybe I'll go back and like test older MMOs but obviously the new games are all going to shit and it's sad to see because i think lost ark has a lot of potential and especially lost ark pvp i think also has a lot of potential and i do remember them saying by the way like one and a half years ago in a q a uh where someone asked can we have one v one v one pvp like specific one v one pvp maybe even with ranked and he was, their guy was like yeah we can do that it never did of course so like i don't know what yeah it's over i think I think it's over. I think there's not much more to be said. As Stoop said, just quit <laughs> if you don't enjoy it. And honestly, I don't see a world where that doesn't make sense, right? Like at the end of the day, all we can do is quit and hope that it gets better eventually. There's nothing else I can do. I've I've pointed everything out multiple times, and no, nothing ever happens. And a lot, not only me, right? This is this is goes for like the entirety of the community everyone is pointing out a lot of problems the korean community is fed up with this shit too and nothing is happening so i don't know what's gonna happen but thanks for tuning in sorry for the doomer video but uh, you know it's over and that's just how it is i'm niku tulo peace see you in the next video i guess uh probably not lost Ark related though so not that it was in recent uh, memory anyways, but yeah, I think Lost Ark is over officially now. So have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, have a nice weekend. Peace.